Hello everyone, Monroe Steel here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another fashion video. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right, you guys, we are back in Miami and I picked up a few things from the outnet to show you all for the holidays this video is in partnership with the outnet so shout out to them for partnering with your girl it's the holiday season and i have all holiday dresses for you all you all have been requesting more holiday wear so i picked up three dresses from the outnet all of these dresses are from herve leger now you may have remembered that not too long ago I got another dress from the outnet also from Hervé and it was my first one that I ever got. I'll pop some photos up here. It's this gorgeous purple dress. It had uh, ribs in it, a really cool cutout, form fitting, just stunning. So yes, that was my first Hervé Leger dress. Um, and I got it for an amazing price at the outnet. So I want to share three more Hervé Leger holiday dresses from the outnet. Uh, and then I'm going to go through my process for exactly how I would style these dresses for the holidays. So I will be sure to link all of these dresses down below along with a few more favorites from the outnet um, from Hervé. So let's start with this dress dress number one how gorgeous is this so this is like a navy blue and i find that navy blue is a great color for the holidays without doing black um if you want to do something very chic and demure everyone usually goes for black but i find that blue is great especially a navy blue for the holidays you can see that this dress has a high neck that's ribbed it's the design on this for me i already know that this is going to give me like an hourglass figure this is a mini dress it has a little slit here on the left side and a little hidden zipper here up the neck so this is dress number one and i'm going to show you all my thought process with how to style this again you can see there the Hervé Leger Paris and I got this in a size medium um I like to be able to move <laughs> especially during the holiday season if I'm dancing if I'm eating I don't want a dress to be so tight that I can like barely sit I could probably fit the Hervé Leger small but I prefer a medium it fits really well with like wiggle room so that's the first dress the second dress from the outnet also another Hervé piece. This one is very, very fun for the holiday season. And it is this red mini dress and it's fringe, y'all. Look at the fringe. So there's, I think, three layers of fringe. This dress is heavy too. Oh, this is gonna look so good. Um, and this is a beautiful pop of red. Like it's not even coming up across as red as red as it is in person this is like a true if i move out of the way maybe you can see a true red you can see the detailing with the ribs around the neck there is a hidden zipper up the back i can barely hold this dress up you guys it is so heavy um and again in this dress i got a size medium so we'll figure out how we're gonna style this for the holidays but i have plans for this dress and actually plan to wear this to a holiday party. So that's dress number two. And finally, because, you know, a little black dress does go a long way. From the outnet, another Hervé piece, we have this black midi dress. Now, I don't know if you can see, but this dress is sheer along here, but has panels for your bust, and I just think that is so chic and elegant without being like overtly like sexy. Um, and then in the back, it has a hidden zipper here. In the back, it's also sheer with the little paneling. And then there's just a, a bandage midi portion of the skirt with a little slit up the back. Again, got this in a size medium. 
Uh, this is probably going to be my favorite one. I'm in my black era. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the last few styling videos I've done features like a lot of black looks. And I don't normally wear a lot of black, so, you know, this is where we are. Okay, so I think all three of these dresses are great for the holidays. We have navy blue, we have a fun red, and of course we have a very elegant black. All three are really legit from the outnet. So let's go ahead and get started with styling these pieces. I'm gonna take you through the accessories, how I would style it with a shoe, with a coat, with a bag, all the things, um, with accessories, earrings, what kind of makeup I would do with the look. And yeah, hopefully that will give you some inspiration for your holiday looks this season. Let's get into it. All right, guys, dress one from Hervé Leger, the outnet. If it's like a dream, I do really like how the medium fits. It just skims my body in all of the right places without being too tight. And I love how the ribbing on this dress really does like give you an hourglass figure and really snatches you in. And then we have this little slit on the left side. It just comes up to like right above the knee, which I think is, you know, it's sexy without being overtly sexy. I could definitely see myself wearing this to like a business or if you work in an office, like a holiday party, this would be a great look. Um, I just love it. Okay, so let's get into how I would style this dress. Now, I love navy blue, but one of my favorite color combos with navy blue is gold. So we're going to play up this look with gold accessories. Let's start with a shoe. And I think I'm going to go with these gold strappy sandals. I think these will be great. They give holiday, they give festive, they give fun. Um, and what I do love about these sandals is that the straps are barely there. So it kind of feels like a naked sandal almost. Um, the heel is also gold. And just look how the gold pops on the navy blue. Like it really shows that this dress is navy and not black. So let's add these heels. By the way, everybody should have a gold strappy sandal in your wardrobe. And I know sandals are more meant for spring and summer season, but when it comes to a holiday party, you really can wear any shoe. It doesn't just have to be a boot or a booty or something meant for the fall winter season. Um, especially like if you're driving or if you're taking an Uber, which you should if you plan on indulging in spirits at any of the holiday parties you attend. Uh, you know, you're only, your feet are only going to be cold for about a moment. <laughs> and hopefully your event is inside. So yeah, I recommend everyone get a, a pair of gold strappy sandals, especially if you wear a lot of gold accessories like gold jewelry or a gold watch as well. So I'm gonna pop these sandals on, we'll see how it looks and then we'll pick out accessories and a bag to complement this look as well. All right guys, so far loving the strappy gold with the navy blue. It just takes it up a notch and make it makes it a little more elegant because it's a strappy sandal. And again, you do not have to put away your strappy sandals for fall and winter. You can still break them out for special occasions, holiday parties, and such. Yeah, because can you imagine this with a booty? It wouldn't be as elegant uh, with like a boot. So yeah, loving the gold. Now let's pick out some accessories. So of course I want to pick a gold earring since I'm wearing gold. Um, I don't want something so flashy. I kind of want to let the dress speak for itself. Um, I have these, which are really cool. I bought these in New York. They're giving like asymmetrical lines, which might pair well with the uh, like curves and lines in the dress, kind of create op opposing symmetry. Or even these little clear earrings would work with the gold. Hmm, these are an option, I'm loving these. Let's see, I actually love these too. These have intertwined gold and silver hoops. 
Uh, both of these pair of earrings are from Alexis Batar. So super cool. This is the first one. I want to give you a better look. And this is the second one. Pretty cool. I actually think having something dangling would be very chic for this look. So we'll go with these earrings, my dangle Chanel earrings. Okay, so we're gonna pop these Chanel earrings on and I think they will actually look really good and just break up my hair a bit so it doesn't just look like one blob of black. And that's something to keep in mind, especially when you're like taking photos, um, like holiday photos, that there's a contrast between your hair, especially if you have darker hair, and uh, your earring or your accessory. So because the neckline on this dress is very high, um, and it, it's not really showing too much skin, I can bring more attention to that area with a dangling earring that will also break up my hair because I'm wearing my hair down. So yeah, love that. I think that's very chic. Now, let's go for a bag. Okay, for a bag, I think I see the perfect one for this look, and it is this, uh, gold clutch that's also kind of like metallic which really matches the shoes well it matches the earrings it's a nice pop against the navy blue so again gold works really well with navy blue i feel like silver does too but not as much as gold like the gold really pops on the navy blue um and i love this look this is a little clutch from fendi this is one of my go-to's for the holidays because this is like one of the only like super dressy clutches that I have for the holidays. And you can see the detailing is very similar to the shoes and it offsets the earrings really nicely as well. So that's a really fun look. I know a lot of people don't like this, but I am a Southern girl at heart and I love matching a bag to a shoe especially when it's a more formal occasion um it's just a really easy like outfit formula to tie your outfit together and make it look like you didn't try too hard so a nice little gold clutch i feel like everybody has a gold bag and if you don't i have some amazing options like this one from fendi which i actually think this one's pretty old but i have a lot of bags with gold in them like this little Jaco Mousse Beauty. Even though this is silver, it has both silver and gold, so it will work well if you're like more of a mixed metals girl. And then I also have a few with straps, and these are very like um, inexpensive on the market right now. You can find a lot of different uh, metallics and golds because Thanks to Beyonce, y'all. Golds and metallics are trending right now. Of course, the Outnet has a ton of gold bags as well. So I will link a few of my favorite clutches that I think will go really well with all of your holiday um, and party looks from the Outnet. So yeah, so far, loving this look. I don't think I need much of anything else. Um, if I wanted to wear some outerwear, let's see hmm let me see what i have okay so sorry about the light going in and out i'm using natural light but yeah i would probably just do like a leather jacket that doesn't have any hardware so it doesn't clash with the gold like most of my jackets for some reason have silver hardware so that wouldn't work with this look but this jacket doesn't have any hardware so it works it blends sim it blends seamlessly and also uh, if you're going to a party, you're probably going to end up checking the jacket or taking it off anyway. So it doesn't really contribute to the look. But yeah, loving this look. And for this look, I would probably do like a very basic makeup because I want uh, the dress to really stand out. And when it's a darker color, you have to do a little bit more <laughs> to make it like, or a little bit less to yourself to make the dress the focal point. Um... I actually would go with the same makeup I have on. Um, I don't think like a red lip would work for this look. I feel like it would be a little bit too much, 
but like a nice gloss or like a nudie brown lip will work perfectly. So this is how I would style the first Hervé Leger dress from the outlet for, you know, a special occasion, a holiday party, an office party. I'm actually having um, a company party uh, soon. And so this would be a great look for it. Like just easy breezy, kind of edgy with the jacket, but once you take it off, it's super elegant. All right, you guys, next up we have the Fringe Mini Hervé Leger dress and i'm wearing this in a medium underneath it does have like the classic bandage uh mini dress in red as well but the fringe is so good now because of this neckline i chose to put my hair up and because this is just like a fun more whimsical dress i thought pulling my hair up into a ponytail would like show off more of what's happening here at the neckline with the fringe so let's go ahead and figure out how i would style this dress for the holiday season so with red there are a few ways i can go i could go gold but i don't think that's the best i could definitely go silver i feel like silver and red really complement each other i could also go black but that's giving very much delta and no no shade no tea I love you. I, I love y'all. Um, but yeah, that's what I always think about when I see red and black together. I could easily do a red and black, which will probably be the easiest color combo for the holiday. But I think we're going to go with silver. Now, do I have silver shoes? I wish I did, but I don't actually think I do. Um, so this is going to be a challenge for us, you guys. Okay, so when it comes to silver, I do have these silver heels. Um, they're a shiny silver, very similar to this bag. But they also have gold. And I feel like that's giving too many colors with the red. So on second thought, it's looking like I'm going to have to do black. Now, for black options, I want to keep it very minimal because the dress is already doing a lot. So I was thinking perhaps these mules, which are black, and they actually do have a red bottom, so it does match the dress a bit, but they are clear. So I think maybe we can work with these, and if not these, perhaps these everyone's favorite my balloon sandals now if i really wanted to make a statement i would wear these but i feel like it's it's too much with these and fringe like if this was just a plain black dress i would definitely bust these out because then these would be the conversation starters but the dress by itself is the conversation starter so i think we'll go with these and also you can't see too much of the black when i'm wearing them so let's pop these on and see how they look. Okay, hopefully you guys can see. I actually really like this because, but because the toe portion is clear, it almost looks just like my legs are super long in the dress. And it almost gives it kind of like a ooh, little Betty Boop feel. And then you do get that pop of red on the heel, which kind of goes with the dress. And I'm really loving what it's doing with my legs. So I think that's a go. We have found a heel. Oh, I love this dress. Okay, loving the heels with this look. And that just goes to show that when in doubt, it's good to have like some kind of clear heel or a plexi or something in your wardrobe that will literally go with anything, no matter the color because I'm realizing I could have done a red shoe with this as well and just did an all monochrome look, that would have really worked. But the closest red I have is these strappy sandals and the reds are not the same. So yeah, even though that could have worked if I just did different tones of red, I'm trying to think if I have a red bag Oh, I do. So maybe this could have worked as well. Just different tones of red. But I actually really love how the clear mule 
works with this look. So now we kind of have to figure out the bag and then the earring. Again, I want to let the dress do the talking. It is the focal point. Um, but I haven't decided whether I'm going to do silver. I think we're going to go with silver accessories because again, I like how silver really pops on red versus a gold. So here are some of my silver options. I have my Tiffany drop earrings, which are really fun. I have these little hoops, which are cool. And then I have a little extra hoop that I can put on my, um, like the top of my ear, like a pretend hoop. Uh, what else do I have? I also have my drop earrings, which are very classic and chic. I have these little ball earrings, but I think these are kind of too much with the dress. It would be giving like costume. Um, I do have a few like crystal earrings. But again, the dress is already doing the most and these would kind of take away from the dress. So I'm thinking we're going to go with Old Faithfuls because these are very elegant and chic, but they also have an air of holiday. All right, so let's go ahead and pop these on. And I do love these earrings. Like I wear them so much. And see, they just elevated the look and also added a little more of like a holiday feel to the look all right yeah i'm liking this i'm liking this a lot okay now i'm thinking either a silver bag to play up the silver in the earrings or a black bag to kind of offset the hair and the heel of my shoe either one would work but i'm leaning more towards silver because holiday why not so perhaps this one but this also has gold in it so i don't know and also this bag is a like conversation starter and again i want everything else to kind of be toned down except for the dress uh, so let's see what other bags I have that could work with this look. Of course, I have my Saint Laurent bag. I think this, this actually could, this could work because this brings out the black in the shoe and also like offsets my hair. But if I did want to match the earring, I could go with this little silver bag which also gives kind of holiday. So let me show you guys the look with both bags. All right guys, so here is the look with bag one. I mean, I kind of am digging it. It does make the black in the shoe pop and kind of offsets the black in my hair. And again, this dress is a pop of red. It's not, it's coming up almost like pink on camera but it is a true like red like santa claus red so yeah i actually really like that i think this is a little elegant i would wear it under my arm like so and then we have the pop of silver on the ear so that's bag one and then we have bag two which is just a silver bag this is a handheld though, and I kind of like the strap, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel like this is kind of doing too much and that the style of the bag doesn't really mesh well with the dress, although it does match the earrings, and I could wear it on my shoulder like so. So you all will have to sound off below and let me know which bag you would wear with this look. Now don't go changing everything. Don't go saying, oh, I need you to have gold earrings. Oh, I think gold would be better. Or uh, I think you need a black shoe and then uh, which bag <laughs> with this look. Really, I could go with either of them, but I'm leaning more towards the black bag. All right, guys, last but not least, we have this black dress 
from Hervé Leger from the Outnet, and this is definitely my favorite dress. The fit on this is impeccable. I already told you guys I've been loving black, and this mesh panel just adds an element of just sexiness. You guys know I love anything sheer, and this is doing it for me. I also love the sheer portion up here. Now, just so you know, this was very hard to get into by myself. And by that, I mean zipping it up because the zipper starts low here and zips all the way up. But let me tell you, in this area, I feel so snatched. I feel snatched, but I can, of course, still move. And there's a little bit of wiggle room in there, but I love this band here. It's definitely sucking me in and giving me this hourglass shape. And then of course I can walk in it because there's a slit in the back. Don't you hate when like a midi dress doesn't have a slit and then you're taking baby steps all night or you're it's so hard to walk up steps you're only walking up one step at a time. Um, now those dresses are beautiful but they're not functional. This dress is functional and it's beautiful. I love an all black everything moment. Okay, so we're going to start with a shoe. Now, I don't know if you all have noticed, but I usually start with dress, shoe, accessory. Um, that way, if I have like metal detailing, gold detailing in a shoe, I can match it to either a bag or an earring. Um, or I'll do dress, earring, shoe or bag to match the metals um, and that way everything is kind of tied to something else with your outfit and it just makes everything look very well put together so for this we're going to start with the, the shoe and i already know <laughs> what shoe i want to wear with this look we are going to go with my sheer pumps it's kind of like a play on things that are already sheer. Anytime I wear anything that's sheer and black, I like to <laughs> wear these because these are also like a mesh. So you can see through it without seeing everything. And that's the same thing that's happening here at the top of this dress. I also, whenever I wear black, especially if it's a midi dress, and sometimes if it's a mini dress, I love a pointy toe stiletto. It just, it's, it, it, it screams sophistication. It screams chic um, and just the fact that they're both sheer is kind of like brilliant. Um, yeah, and I also, again, I feel like a stiletto when you're wearing black. It's just something very sexy, chic, elegant um, about it. So we're gonna pop these on. Okay, something about this look is just speaking to me. It's very elegant and fun at the same time, which is hard to do in a dress, especially something that has mesh in it. Um, the fit is, in, is impeccable. And I really love the stiletto and pointy toe with this look. This could definitely be worn for a holiday party, something even more formal, um, just gorgeous, or even a holiday dinner. Ugh, gorgeous. Okay, so far loving the look, but I do find with black, you cannot wear just like a nude or a clear lip. You need to wear something that pops because everything else is very, dark so i think for this look i would go for a red lip so let's grab one of my favorites all right guys so we're in my bathroom now because i'm about to <laughs> do some makeup um now my blush is super light you can barely see it but with the red dress i wouldn't want to overdo it with blush and with the navy dress i wanted the gold from the earring to kind of shine through so I feel like when you wear black, everything else has to be done up. So I'm going to do a little bit more blush for this look. I just feel like when you wear black, it's really giving like evening, nighttime, 
glam. So you kind of have to step it up a bit. Ooh, that's a lot of blush. <laughs> Let's blend it. I'm using um, Poison. I'll link this down below if you're interested. Just gonna blend that a little more. I would also actually go a little heavier on the eye and do like a brown smoky eye. I already have brown on my lid, but I'm just gonna add a little bit more. I already have a little cat eye, but I would like spruce that up too to make it super sharp and probably a little more dramatic. Just blend that in with my finger. Yeah, with black, a smoky eye goes a long way. Um, for the lip, we're gonna do a red. Now, I, I have a few that I love. You guys know I seem to wear the, <laughs> the same lipsticks over and over and over. I have Fenty MVP, which I think I feel like I like the most. I also have NARS uh, Dragon Girl, but I think we're gonna go with the Fenty because this stays on. And I don't mind, I'm just gonna pop it on top of the gloss. See, just that little pop of red really makes the black stand out. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot. All right, guys, so that is the red. And I actually love that I put it on top of a gloss because it gave it, do you see that shine? And that was uh, Dior in Rosewood with this on top. And this is normally a matte, like this normally will dry matte, but I love the high gloss. It really does give it like a holiday feel. Okay, and already I feel like I'm looking a lot more festive with this dress. Okay, let's get into the accessories. Now I find that when you're wearing black, especially like an all black look, you can go either way with silver and gold. I feel like gold looks beautiful. It pops against the black and silver does as well. So it kind of depends on your bag. If your bag maybe has any kind of mixed metal, which kind you will want to pair with your earrings. So for me, I think we're gonna go with either this black clutch. I feel like it's just very chic very elegant, it's given very Joan Clayton. Y'all know she's one of my fashion TV idols <laughs> and Tracy Ellis Ross in real life is one of my idols. So yeah, this could work. And I also love the different glossiness because you have a glossy lip and you have a glossy bag. Those things matter. So if we end up going with this bag, I will probably do a silver earring. Um, Another good option would be this bag, which is super fun, a conversation starter. It's also like a mesh, so it's a play on the mesh in the shoe, the see-throughness of this, and then being able to see through the bag. And then the bag also picks up the red in my lip. And so it's just a more like fun option. And being that the dress is kind of understated, and you probably won't even see the mesh unless you're in direct light. Um, this could be the conversation starter of the outfit. You have the mesh bag, the mesh top, the mesh shoes. You have a red lip and a pop with the red bag. I actually love the red bag. I mean, I feel like the black is a little more chic but the red is more interesting yeah i love them both for different reasons so sound off below let me know which bag you would wear um but for now i think we're gonna go with this one this is a little more just chic and that's the era i'm in <laughs> right now this is fun as well but I think it might be a little too much for the look. But I love that it does match the lip. And sometimes I do do that. Where I do an all monochrome look and just a bag that matches my lip. And that's how I tie the outfit together. So for now, we're going to stick with just a black clutch. Everyone needs a black clutch for the holidays. It's very chic, elegant. And I like how big this one is too because I can fit my camera in there, my phone any miscellaneous makeup, makeup wipes, 
napkins, <laughs> all the things I'll need. So let's see for this look. I mean, I really could do silver. These are fun and they're giving a lot. And also because I have my hair, also because I have my hair back, I can wear something that's kind of dangly. I think this is doing a little too much. Uh, let's see, let's see. I definitely can do a hoop that has silver and gold, like the ones I showed you all earlier. Let's try those on. See how they look with the look. I like it. They're very kind of understated, but because they're like intertwined, they almost like shine in my hair. And I think I like the way that looks. So this way we won't have to worry about do doing silver or gold. We can do both. I love it. I like that a lot. My other option would probably be my Tiffany link earrings, but I think something with silver and gold really pops on the black. So we're going to go with these earrings. And that is how I would style this Hervé Leger dress for the holidays. So that concludes the video and how I go about styling myself and my thought process behind putting things together. I have quite a few like outfit formulas that I use to pull outfits together and make them seem very seamless and like everything flows. Um, and more importantly, this is how I would style things more specifically for the holiday season and how I style these three gorgeous Hervé Leger dresses from the outfit. And I will be sure to link all three dresses down below. Um, I am a US size six. I always wear a medium in Hervé Leger dresses um, because I just like them to skim all the right places and not be too tight. Uh, so yeah, make sure to check them out. I will also link other dresses and not just dresses, they have other pieces as well. Uh, skirts and top sets that I think would be great for the holiday season from Hervé Leger. Down below in the description box, you can use my links and you can check them out. Sound off below. You guys got to let me know which bags with which outfits. I think there were two outfits that I couldn't really decide on the bag. So you let me know which bag you would have worn. Um, and also which of these looks were your favorite? Was it the navy Hervé Leger, the red fringe Hervé Leger, or the black with the sheer aspect Hervé Leger dress? All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and that you gained some tips on how to like put outfits together for yourself. And if you enjoyed today's video, please do give your girl a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. And again, special thanks to The Outnet for sponsoring today's video. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.